How's it going guys welcome back to today's video in today's video i want to go ahead and talk about can you become profitable with the phantom strategy and then can you pass prop firm challenges such as ftmo my forex funds etc so one of the biggest things obviously with the phantom strategy that everyone will know that phantom can hit you know big risk to reward trades and things like that and obviously when you first start out trading phantom strategy if you're just taking that you know their entry model here there and everywhere if you're taking it in literally every supply or demand zone you will take a lot of losses so what I want to do first of all is I'll just head over to um, FTMO. So if I just head over to FTMO right here and then go over to evaluation process and just see how this works. So if I come down and go to the $100,000 challenge for example, as you can see they have a profit target of $10,000. So this is obviously a 10% gain on an account in order to pass the FTMO challenge. And then the verification is half of that so you need to make five percent of that in order to pass and then obviously once you pass that you are then a funded ftmo trader so keeping this in mind what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go over to the phantom trading um website right here so as you can see i am on the home page and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over to case studies and i had a look at this um, a couple of hours ago and what i want to do is particularly talk about this guy here so what i want to do is i want to talk about this person's equity curve right so if I can zoom in somehow, so as you can see, this guy's equity curve, what it looks like is it looks like he's gone and he's taken break even, break even, loss, 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 break even, loss, and he's ended up in around a seven, a seven thousand dollar drawdown, which is around seven percent, right? So he's nearly lost the account before the, obviously the verification has actually taken him out and he's lost, lost the verification more or less. So, um, and then as you can see, it's come down. It's been a steady little drop down here. And then he's passed the verification in like one one or two trades here. So he's got like, he's just literally gone from being in like $7,000 drawdown to, you know, over over $10,000 profit by the looks of things right here. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is, are you consistent? Are you making good profits? Have you been consistent for, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe even up to 12 months, even a year? Are, are you been consistent for a good enough time in order to feel about going for a funding challenge because if you've got an equity curve like this no disrespect to this person right here right but i want to just bring this to attention because if you are passing challenges like this and you know this could just be a fluke and then you go you get the live account and then you end up losing the live account that's not where you want to be within trading once you get the live account you want to keep hold of it so obviously and um, what i'd recommend is obviously going on and then if i just zoom out again what I would recommend doing is just going on, getting a free trial, and just keep passing them as many times as you can. So I'd, I'd recommend passing free trials, you know, five five to ten times. Once you've done that, and you've got a steady positive equity curve, obviously I know that you have drawdown periods, and you know you can have a string of losses, and you know a, a loss streak, which is absolutely fine. But if you if you've got an equity curve like this, for example, and you you know you're taking four five six seven losses in a row maybe even 10 15 losses in a row before you hit that one big winner to pass your challenge that's not how you want to be trading because what you will need to think about is the your psychology once you get the funded account if you're taking four four ten fifteen losses in a row once you've got funded um if you're you know risking 0 0.25 0 0.5 it's still going to you know play on your psychology and you know you, you might feel fear then to execute trades and then if you're feeling fear and then you miss trades and you miss this trade here that would you know have taken your your account into the positive that's where things will then get a little bit harder for you so obviously the phantom strategy is a great strategy you can make huge risk to reward you can make great percentage each month and if you are trading it right and you've got a refined trade plan you know you might be able to cut out some some of these losses kind of right here so like i said before no disrespect to this guy but in terms of this, you know, this might have just been his drawdown period. This might have just been his, you know, losing streak that he's, that he's obviously gathered data on when he's been back testing and things like that. So this might be absolutely fine to him. So he might know and he might expect this due to his back testing results. But what you want to do is you want to back test, you want to forward test, and you want to refine your trade plan to a point where you are happy and you feel ready to take on a funded challenge. Because obviously, let's just go back over to um, the you know ftmo right here and then we can go down as you can see this will cost you 540 euros to do and you don't want to be throwing your money away whether you've got the money to do it 
Um, that's a different story. But, you know, if you're saving up, for example, to try and get out of a nine to five and you're blowing 540 euros. So obviously you don't want to be going out and blowing 540 euros without a refined trade plan and without a trade plan that you've, you know, extensively tested in the live markets and through back testing and everything else that comes along with trading. So overall, yes, you can pass the funded challenges, FTMO, my Forex funds, etc. with the Phantom strategy. You can do that actually quite easily as shown here on these case studies. But what you don't want to be doing is obviously if you're passionate in one trade and it turns out to be a fluke and then you lose the funded account because one of the biggest statistics when it comes to funded accounts is I think it's around 90% of people don't actually make it to their first payout. So obviously you want to be one of the 10% that are getting consistent payouts from, you know, FTMO, from my Forex funds and these funding uh, companies. So my, my advice is, you know, to take your time, obviously refine your trade plan as much as you can and don't be taking trades you know in every supply and demand zone for example so my advice when coming to this is you want to go through live testing back testing gathering case studies and test a your strategy to you know extensively test it so you know how many you know on average how many losers you will get in a certain losing streak so if something like this does happen you know that not to be worried you know you know to keep your calm and keep executing your edge and you're not going to obviously go in a panic once you go into drawdown like this and as you can see you can go down and you can see a lot of people that have passed the funding challenges through phantom trading so obviously with a phantom training strategy guys you will be able to get funding in time so if this video did provide you any value i'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on today's video if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section down below and without further ado guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one